Although particles of cholesterol flow through the bloodstream to help repair cell membranes throughout the body, cholesterol is also implicated in the creation of plaque. We've known for decades that people with high levels of cholesterol were at increased risk for developing coronary disease. But only more recently do we really understand how that works. Cholesterol is carried in and out of the body's cells in two different forms. LDL cholesterol ferries cholesterol into the cells, including cells in the coronary arteries. HDL cholesterol ferries cholesterol out of them. The danger comes from the LDL cholesterol. When too much cholesterol accumulates in the artery walls, white blood cells come to the rescue as if the cholesterol were a foreign invader. They engulf it and set off a chain of reactions that ends with the formation of the deadly plaque. Scientists call the mobilization of the immune system the inflammatory response. The inflammatory response is very important in defending us against foreign invaders like viruses and bacteria. But when we're exposed to risk factors, such as high blood pressure or bad cholesterol, that turns our usual friend, the inflammatory response, that defends us into an enemy that can promote the disease. 